into today. So trust me, you guys, I did not forget about Yellow Jackets. The problem was that I just got sucked into other shows and I was editing other things and I just was too caught up in all of that stuff and I didn't have time to necessarily sit down and watch Yellow Jackets. But I was definitely thinking about this show. And so I'm very, very excited to watch episode two and three today with you guys. So let's just get right into this because I don't know what's going to happen. I, I, I we, we literally got to the part of the plane crash, uh, culty vibes, and we don't know anything else. So we're going to experience this together. <laughs> Oh, we're going straight into it. It's going down. I'm yelling timber. Don't be fuel. Oh, we're back at this weird girl. Misty, oh my gosh, hi. What, does she like bully her or something? Robbie Delgado, he's telling everybody you two did in the janitor's closet. Okay, so it is a bully, just a useless bully. You're too ugly to like find a victim. That's rude. I mean, first of all, it's kind of disgusting, but it's also really mean. Opinion is the wilderness between knowledge and ignorance. You're such a I don't know how to feel about this girl because like yeah, no one should be bullied But like from, well, from the little clips that I'm getting here and there you seem to be a freaking weirdo Doesn't mean you should be bullied though. It just means you're weird. Oh girl Oh god, this is terrifying. They're all just trying to get out They have to help her Oh no, they couldn't save her friend Girl, why would you want to go back inside? That's not very pretty can he survive that? Can you move it? It looks like he's trapped. Come on. I feel like if they could get him to a hospital, maybe he could survive it because they could take care of his leg. But with infection and being stuck in the wilderness, you're probably gonna get sepsis. <laughs> they got it off, but his leg is like crushed. Surprise. Oh, I'm so happy she made it out. <laughs> Why did she just do that? Okay, she's tourniqueting his leg. Is she trying to save it? Help me move him! Like she cut off the part of the leg that was dead already? Escalators. Well, she's dating the coach? Steam clams, obviously. No, wait, who is that? I can't see it's dark. <laughs> Enough about me. What turns you on, Stan? I thought- Usual stuff. What, what, what kind of question was that? Why was she saying that weird stuff? Ew. Another real her? No, That'd be great. Not. This isn't in the past. I got confused and I thought maybe it was young her with the coach and there was some sort of weird thing there, but no, this is older her on a date with some guy and it's not going well. Like this, got it? She's trying to save him. How do you know how to do all of this? I took the Red Cross babysitter training class. Red Cross babysitter training class? What did she say? Is it bad? I wouldn't look if I were you. Well, the good news is I you're gonna be fine, coach. I mean, that's a good thing in trying not to make him panic. I think that was the right thing to say. Phone. Oh, we're, we're back in the future. I just realized I forgot to defrost the chuck. Let's defrost the chuck. Take it out of the freezer, please. Did she just hit a car? Girl, you banged up the car. You little dum dum. Look what you did. Who taught you how to drive? Wait, I thought she bumped it to him. I'm honestly not sure what to do here because A, you re rendered me. So she did. Do it. It's the number of a body shop. I know a good guy there. He owes me a favor. That was actually really nice of this guy because even though she butted into him, he's saying, I see that you took the worst of it. So here, take this number. Go to this auto shop. I know this guy. He could take care of you. Don't worry about it. Which I think is very nice of him. That is very, very nice. And he's writing it on her arm. I'm Adam, by the way. Nice to meet you, Adam. Don't get involved with Shauna. She's crazy. <laughs> huh? We've both been very busy. Oh, so this is the husband? Marriage lives up here, dies down here. What a way to say that. I want you to share a fantasy with each other, something you never shared before. Oh, what an awesome project to do. Well, thanks for the ride home. I uh, I can't believe my car wouldn't start. You freaking liar. I don't trust a thing, a single word she says. I feel like everything she does is carefully manipulated and happens exactly the way she wants it to. Like, oh, your car didn't work, sure. Do you want to come inside? Boy, don't go in. Um because you think I'm ugly. Girl, you don't got to take it in that way. He just, I, I. I... I think you're, you're- He's just not interested. If you thought I was pretty, you'd come inside. Maybe it's your personality, girl. Maybe, maybe it has nothing to do with your looks. <laughs> so is it just- Oh, so you manipulated him to come inside, okay. Caligula is a little protective of me. Who's Caligula? What? Oh my God. I'm out of here. Literally, the woman is holding a gun and he's like, yeah, I gotta go. I mean, I don't know what happened. From what I understand, she's crazy. If she put nap through hell, I can understand why Nat wants to do this. Wish you were here. Why did she send her a postcard? You think 
Hold that thought. What? I didn't send it, silly. See? What does that symbol mean, though? What does the person who sent these postcards want? I have that same question. It's obviously a threat. A threat? I wouldn't be too sure about that. I mean, I still don't know 100% if she didn't send it. She's crazy. You found Travis? Travis? No. No way. So it's from, he's from school, but I don't remember him. Am I supposed to remember him? Sorry, is this a, is this a bad time? I mean, you, you can kind of tell that they're in the middle of something. I don't know how long you're in town for, but just in case, I'll leave this. I mean, if he's a good... Wanna maybe get a drink? I was gonna say, if he's a good guy, maybe she can meet up with him, but he's a detective, which I think they're trying to stay away from that, so... Didn't you two used to be friends? Best friends. Oh, that's sad. Oh, and she left the number of the guy. That's sad. I don't really know what happened between them, but if she said it was he was her best friend, I feel like there should be something there, right? Dad, uh, go find Travis now. Okay, let's go find Travis. Travis, hey. Nice to finally see you again. Your brother's trying to get back on the plane. Oh, it's the guy that looks like Tom Holland. <laughs> the door ripped open when we were going down. Your brother's still here. I agree with her. I agree with her. It, it is really, really, really messed up that he had to fall out of the plane and pass away. That That is so messed up and really hard to deal with and something that will probably weigh on him for a very, very long time, possibly forever, that he'll learn to cope with with time. Sadly, in these tragedies and when things like these happen where they're really, really intense, you have to really focus on what matters and what matters is that his brother is here and I think they should be there for each other in the meantime, especially now that they don't have their father. Well, maybe you should mind your own business but also it's, it's really hard to tell someone that when they're going through the grief and the shock of it all they're not really necessarily going to want to listen to you so i also understand his response don't you and manny take one of those pasta leaders and go watch some tv bye kid enjoy your tv what did it, what trouble did he get into she says he's having a hard time making friends that's kind of normal for a kid especially if he's shy i was kind of a loner when i was his age same i don't think there's anything wrong with it at all I mean, you don't want the kid to be completely alone. But like, have a small little circle, you know? Maybe putting him in public school was a mistake. No. That's actually really, really sweet because one of the moms was like, should we take him out of public school? Should we maybe put him in private school? You know, maybe see if he vibes better with the other kids. But then she's, but then the other one was like, no, 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 no. This is your thing. Part of your whole thing is education. Like, part of what you're running for, I think she's running for something, right? So it's like, part of what you're running for is be bettering the education system. You're trying to prove that just because you could get out of public uh, education doesn't mean that you should. They're trying to better public education for their child and so she's like no i know it's not great but we will make it work because that's the whole point of like what she's running for is that she wants the public education to be better which i think is good that is a nice little thing for the people who don't have the privilege of just switching over to private school you know oh god are they gonna try things with us why i don't want to be a part of this it could be kind of hot you pretended to be a customer at the store he wants her to pretend to be a customer i mean go whatever you want whatever you want just don't do it with me please <laughs> don't let me witness this i don't want to Pardon me. Can you help me find some furniture, sir? Ah! Excuse me, sir. Oh my god. Well, it's a real pleasure to meet you. Can we fast forward through this, please? Do you not think it's a bit weird? <laughs> what is this? Oh no, that's gonna look bad, but like... You got in an accident today? Right, um... <laughs> I'm just gonna off and watch some sports center. That's so sad. But I mean, you had sex with your best friend's boyfriend. What do you expect? <laughs> I was trying to save you. I understand her in this circumstance because it is very, 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 very tough when you are trying. Look, okay, look. In the moment, she's thinking flight or flight. Like, she's thinking, I have to survive. I want my best friend to survive. What do I do here? And so she sees that a girl is about to be put in fire. Like, she's about to burst into flames because she, she's so close to the fire. And so she has the choice to go, okay, I can. we, we could try and get the girl out, which they did. They realized that they, it was getting too hard. And so she grabbed her best friend to save her because she didn't want her best friend to get hurt. Now, does that necessarily mean that that was the complete right thing to do? No, I think they should have tried a little bit hard and tried to get her out. But they, at the same time, they were they didn't want to die. So they were trying to leave. And it turns out the girl got out anyway. I understand why the girl would be mad because she's like, you guys left me. You guys didn't try and help me. But I also understand why they left because it's like they tried to help you and it looked like they were going to get stuck. Mm, I don't know. I, think it, I don't think it matters that much because she's alive anyway. So... <gasps> Oh, she found her teddy bear and she's excited about it. Why is there blood? Ew, girl, move. Why are you letting it fall on top of you? Is that the coach? Who is that? It's Travis, stop. That's really hard because what if he what if he falls down from the shock of seeing his dad? That's what's scaring me right now. I don't want him to fall out of shock. <laughs> Travis, get back! Oh my god, the branch was about to break. <laughs> God. Oh, that's so f***ed up. 
That's a symbol. Who put it on the tree? Was it Misty or was it somebody else? That's what's making me curious now. Okay, let's see if you can get this. You trying to make a dog? A bunny. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. What's wrong with her? <gasps> oh my goodness gracious, that scared me so bad. What are these paintings? Well, uh, drawings, I mean. Why did you do this? So she can't see me painting the tree. Is it Misty? That is like horrifying to hear as a parent. Imagine your child telling you that. I would literally be like, what is going on? Where did you hear that? Who said that? Why? Hello, is it Adam? Hi. I knew it. You never called the shop about your fender. How do you know that? Oh, because it's his. I just can't afford something like that right now. You can't afford free? He's gonna do it for free? If you have dinner with me. Don't cheat on your husband, although that's how you started, so. No, thank you. No thanks. Who would have known that you had morals? Well, you seem like someone who doesn't play by the rules. Shauna. Shauna? Did she say her name before? I'm an idiot. Um, just forget it. Did she say her name before? I, maybe she did and I'm just like looking into too many, like I'm looking too deeply into it. I honestly can't remember. Don't hurt the bunny. Oh my god, I've had enough of her hurting the bunny. What did the bunny ever do to- They just showed in detail her skinning a rabbit, taking out its organs, like I never needed to see that. Thanks. Thanks so much for that image in my head. Here. <laughs> Poor guy, after what he's been through, he needs that. But at the same time, you're out in the wilderness, stranded. Maybe alcohol is not a good thing to be putting into your system at that time. Maybe not. I mean, I'm happy that he came out alive, but I don't think he wants to be found. Travis? I'm sorry, I think you have the wrong number. He doesn't want to be found. What are you going to do? I just wanted to be like, dude. Ew, are they eating the rabbit? This chili is really good tonight. New recipe? Rabbit! I killed a rabbit in the garden. Oh my god, what's wrong with her? Why is she saying that? You're in a mood. You were so freaking weird. Oh my god, they thought- they think she's joking. They think she's joking, but she was fully being honest with them. That's so- oh. Oh, they went to cover up the bodies. That's respectful. What medicine is she taking? I'm sure the plane has an emergency transmitter. I mean, that's hopeful thinking, I, I would wish, but I don't think so. Looks like you did Allie a big favor by breaking her leg. She didn't do that on purpose. But I mean, yeah, the girl that broke her leg is probably like having a field day knowing that she didn't get in a plane at crash. My new bed needs to be really sturdy. Okay, y'all can do whatever you want. I'm happy for y'all, but how about we leave me out of it? You okay, Loralee? This is all my fault. How is a plane crash your fault? She kept screwing up in my piano lesson last week, so I called her a bad word. Oh my god, she thinks because she called her a bad word that now she's in a plane crash? That's- no. Why did you call her? God. <laughs> Look, it is funny, but at the same time, I understand why she's stressing, because she really genuinely believes that it's her fault. But like, girl, you're fine. I steal shitty clothes from TJ Maxx. Are they just all confessing everything now? <laughs> Okay, so they're all confessing little secrets and stuff and having little laughs. I don't know what Missy's doing. Your leg is gone. I chopped it off. Is she gonna burn his leg? Any secrets big enough to crash a goddamn plane? I'm doing something with your boyfriend. <laughs> I had to stop the bleeding for good. She cauterized his leg. But I don't know why she didn't tell anyone that she was gonna be doing that, because that scream probably freaked everyone out. You're just kidding about the rabbit thing, right? The fact that he had to ask that is questionable. Is her husband cheating on her? Are you surprised though? He got with you by cheating on his girlfriend who was also your best friend. I'm never gonna let that go. So they're all taking little sleepies besides Misty. She's the only one that's awake right now. We would be so completely if she wasn't here. Yeah, I mean, it's true. The thing is, I, I want to be grateful for her, but I feel like she's gonna do something really weird because she ends up being like the cult leader, no? That's what it seemed to be anyway. What is that? Recording, huh? Of course, guess who's here? Little old Misty. I was getting coffee and I and I saw you. No, you made her car have edge in trouble. And then you came with coffee just to pick her up. But you know, I could I could take you up there. She wants to drive her up to see Travis. What, girl, I know that you have another motive. But I'm driving. Like, shouldn't this be obvious to you at this point for how long you've known Misty that she clearly did this on purpose? She clearly has an ulterior motive. She planned all of this. What is she gonna do with this box? Cause is this something that could potentially save them? Is she gonna destroy it? Oh, that's so messed up. <gasps> okay, that definitely killed it. Okay, girl. Oh, she just wants to keep them trapped there, doesn't she? For her little cult. I have literally no idea where this is heading. Well, no, that's not true. We kind of have a little idea. Culty vibes. Oh my God, they have such a long intro. Oh, we're making little graves. 
I mean, uh, yeah, that's, that's a respectful thing to have a funeral for those who passed away on the flight. Let's join hands. We'll pray for them. It's really sad that Travis is standing over his father's prison. A prison. <laughs> his father's uh, grave. So this is young her. What the Lord gives us our time here, then he calls us back. So that's a hard conversation to have with a child. She's just remembering her grandmother. And we're back to future Taisa. She's got an email. She claims to put education first, but has she been honest about how? Oh my god, are they really gonna try? Paid for by Gil Bathurst. That's not even, that's not even a bad video or like, that's <laughs> just silly. <laughs> Swing by the mechanics and, and pick me up. Ooh, she's testing him because, what is he gonna say? And we're expecting a delivery. Can't you take an Uber? Liar. My boys need me at the store. My boys, Bianca, whoever Bianca is. And then there was hiking guy and he seemed pretty normal. She really trying to talk about her exes and stuff like that. You want to go grab something while I gas up? Is she trying to get her out of the car so that she could leave? I can't believe she's actually going to wait for her. Although she isn't getting gas. It looks like she's exploring. Oh, yeah, that she messed with your car. Really took you that long to figure it out. I figured it out for the second she pulled up. This is all we have. We got a ration. At least there's some food and some water. Poison ivy is what kills me out here then. I deserve to die. Oh, that's rough having poison ivy. Oh, it must be so painfully itchy. When the rescue team gets here. If it gets here. How is the rescue team supposed to find you? How are they supposed to find you when Missy destroyed the thing that probably could have helped you guys? I don't think they're on their way. I really don't. How long are they out here for? I don't remember how long she said. Was it years or was it months? Eat. Oh, he's saving gum. I mean, that's kind of smart. You haven't eaten in two days and I can't give you any more of these on an empty stomach. Look, I understand that he has to eat for the medication. So like, I, I kind of want him to eat. Misty confuses me because she's taking care of the coach. But yet I know that she's crazy and she's probably going to do something really bad. <laughs> oh, she's almost ran out of medication. There's the light. But if the rescue team come? If anything, aren't you better in an open air type of area? So if you're by the river, there's not going to be a bunch of trees around you. And if you do see a plane, you could like get their attention. You know what I mean? Whereas being covered by trees. All in favor of waiting here. How many people is that? Only her. All in favor of the lake. Because it's a smarter choice. I'm sorry. Oh, she feels betrayed by her friend. Little do you know what she did behind your back though. What is she doing? Is she writing where they're going? SOS gone to lake. Okay, that's, I mean, at least they're telling, they're leaving something for the rescue team in case they come there. That's pretty smart. I mean, unless it rains <laughs> and then the message just gets wiped off. Hey, it's one of those floating men that I love where they move around. <laughs> Literally every single time I drive by someplace and they have that blow up doll where the, the hand goes like, come into the shop, come here. I love that. I know it's such like a thing to get you to go into the shop, but I think it's cute. So it works, I guess. Is she spying on her husband? We're spying on the husband. But how can you be surprised of him cheating on you when you were a cheater? To, well, you weren't a cheater, but you, you helped him cheat. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine he just looks. Hotel, that definitely doesn't look good. How hard are you pushing? Money? Book deals? She's working for her. So you want to hit back? That's her daughter is a junkie. I don't think, it, first of all, okay, she's on the phone with uh, who, whatever. They're on the phone and she's basically telling her, I have something that you could use in your campaign against this person, but it's involving, in my eyes, still a child. I don't think you should be doing that. Like, yeah, she's 18. The 18 year old should not be part of her campaign, like, problems. Sammy, did you do this? Yes. Why do you push him? My son's elbow whacked him in the face. I think your son has some issues. Sorry to break it to you. He said he sees the lady in the trees. Could that be? Because I was at first, I was like, it's Misty. It's Misty. You know, she's crazy. But could it be that he might be like schizophrenic? Maybe that could explain a lot of the things he's going through. Our son just assaulted another child and you're talking strategy? I agree with her. I don't think you should be doing this. You're right. Okay, at least you said you're right. At least that. Baby, we need to talk about why you hit that boy today. That is not right. You cannot do stuff like that. Be quiet. Okay, that's it. I think this is, this is bad. Give him back. Uh-oh, this does not look good. Go to your room, Sammy. Girl, maybe take him to see like a psychiatrist or something. I think something's wrong. Oh, hell yeah, yes! Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Look at that open land. That's exactly what you need. <laughs> oh, it's cute to see them all having fun, but I'm afraid because I know it's not gonna last very long. This chat is actually hot. Oh my God. <laughs> it's been three days. You guys can't be that desperate. I love that, it's been three days. <laughs> Are we gonna see future Travis? Come back later. Oh, she's gonna break in. Bro. 
Wait, what? I swear he was there. I mean, what do I mean? I swear. They showed us that he was there. Unless she's losing her mind and seeing things, he should be there. I thought they were gonna have a conversation with Misty. I got excited. You know you got the JV team fooled. About what? Well, you're not that much of a bitch. Aw, that's sweet. I don't think she's a bitch at all. Looks like he's been working at a place called Willowbrook Ranch. Ooh, you got stopped by authorities. Put your hands up! Oh my god, Misty. We're just visiting an old friend. Such an old friend you had to bust his window? So they got stopped by the cops. I'm with Homeland Security. We're undercover. Oh my god, is that the husband? Oh my god, it's Adam. What? DC's on the line. Briefing. What? What is he doing? What is what are both of them doing? My studio space is down the street, and this place has a classic martini. What are the odds that he ends up right there? You know, if a bomb goes off, that's on you. So she's gonna go on that drink because she's convinced that her husband's cheating on her. You stole my battery cable. Well duh. <laughs> I wanted to come with you and I didn't think you'd let me. So her excuse to stealing the car battery and basically tricking her into making her allow her to come with her was basically, oh, I knew that you wouldn't let me come with you, so I had to do that. Girl, you're crazy. You ever see the collect call from Eden Falls Police Station? Caller's name is Natalie. Oh my god, is she calling her to get out? He disappeared on you for a reason. Yeah, I think respect the guy. And I don't want to pull you out of that toxic shit again. Also, they were really toxic. I'm sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> Damn, you tell her, girl. You tell her, I can't help you. You deal with this stuff. You put yourself in a toxic little hole again. Not my problem. <laughs> I actually don't even know what happened between Natalie and Travis, so. <laughs> oh, does she have a crush on her? What if it's dangerous people? You know, I'd be less scared of the animals, more scared of the people. Guys, it's here. A whole cabin? Girl, she's scared. But I'll, I would be more afraid to stand out there by myself while everyone's running into this house. Even though I'd be scared to go in this house, I would not stand outside by myself. Like, oh my God, the cult stuff. <sighs> oh, ouch, is that her poison ivy rash? Jackie's going through it, man. I mean, they're all going through it. She just needs to have a little cry. At least it's healthy, it's healthy to let it out, you know? Might be stuck in the middle of nowhere, but hey, at least there's I can't believe that's what they found in this random cabin. <laughs> Still chewing the gum. Spit it out. Why does it hurt you so much that he just wants to chew the gum though? Like, yeah, it's kind of gross, but. Don't you understand? Dad is f***ing dead. I mean, you had to throw his gum. And he's younger than you. I feel like you should be a little softer with him. Who'd you call? Someone I thought was a friend. Tyson wants nothing to do with you. I go where the road takes me and don't ask why. Poor guy, because he seems kind of genuine and I feel like he doesn't want to get tangled up in her mess, you know? Like he's trying to talk to her and all she could do is look at the door and make sure her husband doesn't walk through. Why are you here, Shauna? Spying on my husband. I'm confirming a suspicion. That a husband's a cheater. I think you still can't jump to conclusions though. Who did you call? Someone I thought was a friend. Kevin. Why did you call him? Because he's a cop. So Misty was kind of smart. She used it to her advantage. She was like, okay, if I pretend to be Natalie to this Kevin guy, then I'll be able to get us both out. And she did it, so. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, okay? Are you sure about that? I'm really scared. I just need my best friend right now. I feel bad because in this moment, of course she's gonna be like, okay, let's, I'll just be there for her and she'll be there for me. We just need each other right now. But when is she gonna find out the truth? There has to be a point in time where the truth comes out, right? <laughs> this is so sad. She's trying to be a good friend. <gasps> what the, get the f away from me. Okay, you didn't have to punch her like that, but I understand he's just frustrated, but no, you shouldn't hit her. <laughs> I can't just, I can't just be like that. Okay, at least she's trying to be understanding about it. So fast. Yeah, so we're back at grandma. What is it? She's scaring me. Who are you? Oh my gosh, she's scaring me. Don't you come over here. Oh my gosh, she's scaring me. Man with no eyes. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What what is this ghost stuff? What I didn't want to see that. And now you're not asleep. Is like schizophrenia or something passed through their family? Is that what they're trying to say? Why don't people like you? The thing is, it's not that people don't like her, it's that she's running for a campaign, so you're obviously gonna have people who are going to be against you. It's just kind of, it comes with the job. I'm different from what people expect, and it scares them. I guess that too. Sammy, is someone else the bad one? Are you seeing somebody? No? You good? What is she gonna do? Don't, don't send out that, don't, don't. Is she thinking about sending out that thing against her competitor about the daughter that was in rehab? Cause no, you can't do that. I wanted to give you a heads up. I know about Jane's drug arrest. There's no point in doing this. You are digging yourself into a hole. Another move like that and your daughter's face is above the fold of every newspaper in the tri-state area. Nah, this is, you're wrong here. You should not be doing this. And you're gonna, you're gonna get caught and you're gonna look like the bad guy. There's a bad feeling. I agree, I wanna leave. Hey, okay, after that bear we saw today, I'm not gonna let you sit down here, okay? Oh no, I'm scared, I'm scared for them. What's gonna happen? And is she going into the room where her husband is? 
Oh, she got a room with Adam. Why are we switching from present to past? Okay, we're at the funeral for her grandmother. And present her is walking to her somewhere. She's gonna go talk to her granny. <coughs> Girl, what, what is it? Oh my God, is that what the doll's eyeball that she just stepped on? Why is this scary? Oh my God, is the doll mutilated? Stop it. What are you doing? I told you. What does she see? What does she see? Do I want to see? Ew, why are her eyes white? Someone passed away here? Girl, why are you still blindly trusting Misty? Like, how do you know she's not driving you to somewhere? And you really had to come at night when we, when we can't really see anything and we're basically watching it like this. Oh God, Natalie. Did he do something to himself? If he even did it, because what if Misty did that? What if Misty's a part of all of this? Maybe Misty had nothing to do with it. I don't know. I'm just questioning her because she's weird and she freaks me out. This is the last thing Travis wrote before he died. What was it? I found it in his cabin. Let's read it. What does it say? Tell Nat she was right. Do you know what you're right about? That's very vague. But I feel like she would know what he was talking about. I don't, but I know I'm right about this. Right about what? Travis didn't do this. Yeah, that's what I said. I immediately questioned Misty. Oh my God. <laughs> I just want to know now. We have a lot to unpack here. A lot is happening. I have so many questions about different things, but I feel like Misty so far is a really confusing character. She's kind of helpful in a lot of ways, but then she's super like manipulative, backstabbing, kind of bend things. She bends a lot of things so that it goes to how she wants it to be. And she's a little psychotic. <laughs> I'm so interested to see where this goes because I forgot how long they were in. Let me check my video. And prayed for 19 months. 19? 19. 19 months that they're gone. What we just watched was only like four days of that, barely. So I feel like a lot's gonna go down. There aren't that many episodes and there is a season two and don't worry, we will be watching everything together. The episodes might take me a little bit of a while to get out because I do have five shows that I currently have to finish and I do not wanna leave one of them hanging, you know? The point is, is that I'm super excited to continue this. I would love to talk about it with you guys. Please tell me things, that, what, what do you guys think about the show? What do you guys think about characters? Try to leave out spoilers until, you know, we reach the finale, of course. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you guys never miss a video from me and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya